Hey everyone, it's Tyler Binkley here and I'm going over the four stash sweep on Swift coding. So uh, in Swift Playgrounds, this is in the four loops chapter. It's actually the last section of the chapter in Learn to Code One. So let's take a look, four stash sweep. Um, you know, I oftentimes like to think and do a little context clue digging, right? Like this is called four stash sweep. Uh, well, and when you look at it, it does look a little intimidating. Um, there's a lot of gems everywhere, a lot of portals, uh, but it looks like there's four main sections, right? And I think that's kind of where they're getting this four stash sweep from. So if we read the challenge, it says practice pattern finding, decomposition, functions, and for loops. Don't be intimidated by this challenge. You can do it. Oh, okay. So it was intimidating, but we're not supposed to be intimidated. Excellent. Start by focusing on the group of gems and the portal closest to your character. Can you figure out the pattern to collect the gems and move to the next location? Okay. Now, when I zoom in, I, you know, I see it looks kind of like a plus sign, right? Like, I mean, if you look straight on, it's like a, a, just like a plus sign. And so it looks like we're going to have to finish the plus sign. And my gut tells me, Okay, once you finish the plus sign, just go into the green portal. And then the, the next plus sign up at the green portal here should, you know, we're, we're going to have to solve that. And then my gut tells me, okay, then we go into the purple portal. And then once we go into the purple portal, uh, we'll be back here at this one. And we're going to have to solve this little plus sign, uh, what looks like a plus sign. And then we got to go to the blue portal so that we can finish this last plus sign, uh, which, you know, has no other portal to, to get to it other than blue. And so that does tell me like, you know, that, that blue is going to be the last one, right? So let's, let's see here. Um, I, you know, I, when I think about solving this first plus sign in front of me, okay, I'm going to tap to enter my code. Let's see. I want to move forward. I'm not on a gem right now, so I need to move forward. And then I would be on a gem and I would collect that very first gem in front of me. And then I might as well just keep going that direction. So I'm going to move forward again and collect the next gem. And, you know, if we see that run real quick, we know we get the first two gems right there. So now I need to turn around, which would be two left-hand turns. And then let's see, I need to move forward. That'll get me back into the middle of the, uh, the plus sign, right? So collect gem, turn around, move forward. Now I'm going to go to bytes right. Or, or our left right here when we look at it. So since it's bytes right, I need to turn right. We always put ourselves in the shoes of the character. And so that's going to get me facing this gem here on the left, technically speaking. So move forward, collect gem. If I run that really fast, we should be on the, the gem right here to the left. There we go, collect gem. Now I need to turn around again, right? Because I'm facing the opposite direction. So turn around two left-hand turns. And then if I move forward two more times, I'll get to that next gem. And I'm just going to run this fastest just so we can see. Okay, we get all of those, turn around. Okay, now we're right there. Now, what if we moved into this green portal? Like what's going to happen? Okay, so let's see. We get teleported Oh, over here. And now look at, look at where we're at. I mean, from the green portal, wouldn't I move forward? I could collect gem, right? Move forward again, collect gem. Mm -hmm. Turn around, come back to the beginning, go to the right, which would really be the left. Remember this gem on the, on the left-hand side. Um, move forward, collect that gem, turn around move forward twice, which is going to take me to that gem right beside the portal. So we collect that and then we move forward into the portal. So to me, you know, again, context clues, this whole chapter is about looping, right? It's, it's called four loops for a reason. So why wouldn't I, uh, you know, I'm going to have to do something here. I'm going to have to press enter and move forward just to get that move forward to come back. But I want to be up at the very top. And I, you know, I just, I kept everything the same, but now I have my cursor at the very top here so that I can add a loop, right? And here's where we learned, you know, if you click on this blue 
uh, squiggly line right here, this bracket, and drag it down, we can get all of that stuff to kind of show up in the, the loop. Now, how many times do we want it to loop? You know, like we said earlier, there were, there were four main areas, it looks like. And the, the title of the section is 4-sweep. So I think a good number to try first using some context clues is a 4, right? Now, I don't know if this is going to work, but I also don't know what, you know, it doesn't hurt to try something. I mean, this is very much like a video game. You have to try things and learn from your mistakes and just fix them as, you know, as problems arise. So let's just run it and let's see what happens. So I zoom out a little bit. All right, there we go. Okay, now look, I looped it four times. That was, that was number two. Here's number three. I didn't know that this was going to work so far, advance, and yet that's all I had to do was solve one plus sign, one little area, put it in a loop, tell it to loop four times, and you know maybe there was some luck there. I don't. I mean, I don't think that it was too much luck involved because we thought it through. We got to the portals that we needed to, and we ended up getting all of the uh, all of the coding done. And with just one line, one, you know, one little bit of, of coding here, looped four times, solved that very what was intimidating, now complete section of code, which also completes the four loops chapter. So there you go. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. I uh, hope you enjoyed.